run. Oh, oh as in setting up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Asuka had, does have a Twitter, he just doesn't really. Hope you enjoyed hearing Spewers call matches. I had fun. I think everyone enjoyed matches yeah. being called. That's and always we love it. Very fun. There we go. Now we can hear. Absolute tune. I'm yes. glad we got this for the menu music. This is always what I have set to 100, but this is my setup for once. So yeah. someone else has the right taste. Boom. I love the old 64 character select. Ah, oh, this is a jam. Brings me back, takes me back. Right? Yeah, that's exactly it. Why does this sound wrong? It could just be because it's a 64 tune, but like, it, it sounds wrong. You feel like there's a bit of distortion there or something? Not distortion, it just sounds like not properly mixed. <laughs> I'm like, it, it's probably just an old song. I think it was actually just direct ported. There wasn't like uh, anything touched up on it. Uh, okay, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense then. Those are the most here I am tracks, trying anyway. to like EQ something that has no bass. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Absolutely. <laughs> Basic. Oh, it should be fine. Mm. Uh, I did do like the more treble trick. The more oh, treble yeah. trick is so clutch. Oh my God. All right. That I reckon that should be a good mix actually. Ah, uh, needs more CRT buzzing. Oh, true. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Hey, uh, where's my bot? Why hasn't my bot showed up yet? That's kind of lame, man. I want my bot back. I'm going to put you in the commentators because I'm going to be jetting at the first opportunity to get it. Yeah, you're right. Pokemon Trainer! Oh, Pokemon Trainer. Okay. What's this? He's gone backwards from me. He went from Gren to PT. That's, uh, that's a choice. Also, Musket's sitting really far to the left. <laughs> ah, he's okay, right. he's PT. He's PT. So I've actually uh, updated the stock icons a little bit lately. So oh, they should okay. Have, they should look a bit nicer. Magic. Oh, the black outline. Yeah, I like it. Yes, because it's um, you know what it was, right? Uh, the files. Yeah, that needs to go down actually. Yeah. Okay. All right, that should be a bit better. Um. So. Yeah, there's two different files in Ultimate. There's like a 200 by 200 stock icon that's for like not in game, mm -hmm. um, and then there's like a 64 by 64 that is for in game. Because there actually oh, okay. is uh, there's Ooh, like Squirtle, Ivysaur, Charizard icons uh, six, that yeah, aren't icons. used. Yeah, they're only they would only be used in the um, the the stock count like flash. I'm not even sure they used then actually. Really? They're, they're used for if that's the opponent you're fighting in World of Light, and that's about it. Ah. Because, like, then it's specifically Squirtle, not PT. Yeah, okay, um, that makes they, more sense. They're the only time that icon's used. Yeah, I thought it would might might have showed up in the little flash, but I guess not. No, it's always yeah. the head. Okay. Well, either um, way, because, like, same thing applies for uh, the Mii Fighter. You've got, like, the generic Mii Fighter... Um, Face. Face, yeah. Well, there's also the but, fist But, like, in-game, in like, the icons are different. Yeah. So, I've actually added those back now. Cool. Because I'm using the, the other files. Understandable. I have Terry in there as well. Ah, in already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that from... I didn't know that was already up on the side. Uh, yeah, or there is. I mean, somebody it. somebody had it. <laughs> yeah, right. I just downloaded it. Um, now, as far as... I've actually played this matchup. Okay. Front load. Ivy sucks in this matchup. <laughs> Ivy like Ivy sucks. Ba <laughs> basically, what like the early meta was was uh, projectile spam was broken and people didn't know how to deal with like a lot of their tools, so they all thought Ivy was broken. Yeah. Right. Uh, whereas like as soon as you get in past a slow projectile, you kind of just win. 
Um, okay. Uh, like, basically what happened with Musket there, he did a lot of damage as Squirtle, took a lot of damage as Ivy, switched to Charizard and got the kill, like, immediately. <laughs> So Ivy didn't really do him a whole lot of good. He got a little bit of chip damage looking for a kill, but just couldn't really find it. Um, uh, Squirtle's really light, so Kaiser actually has a kill throw that I think he would have killed Squirtle at that sort of percent. Uh, I think this might be... Like, this is interesting because it's basically a melee specialist versus an old Smash 4 vet that doesn't play a lot of this game anymore. So it's pretty funny. So we're going to have, like, just lapses in character knowledge, I feel, are going to be pretty prevalent. I feel like they're going to be thinking about how to earn their hit a bit more than they are, like, just going to go in autopilot. Yeah, absolutely. I think they have that presence of mind of a veteran, but, um, yeah. yeah, just not quite used to a lot of this game stuff. I think a lot of the good characters in this game kind of, uh, like, the ones that you would say are really good are probably the ones that don't have to worry about what the other person's doing too much. Yeah, the ones that actually get to enact their game plan yeah. more so than trying to prevent the opponent's game plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like that's how, even between top tiers, it's just the winner of the matchup is the one that is pushing their game plan. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Um, so we've seen an early switch from Musket not feeling that Squirtle was getting much of the job done, only taking, or getting 39% on the, this Inkling. Whereas Squirtle is really the only one that can box Inkling at all. Like, getting in on Inkling and not getting bullied. Seems like a challenge. It is. Like, the frame data on this character, like, complete lack of landing lag on any move. And, um, you know, you got, like, the frame 2 jab that does 25. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's, like, really risky or... Yeah, it's a bit of a risk to be in their face if you're not just as fast. What do you think about these characters, these two characters in particular, like, now that we're, what, eight months into the game almost? Um, because I know kind of both of these both had their uh They were extremely the popular spotlight. early on yeah. um, because A, because people didn't know how to deal with Ivysaur and B, yeah. people didn't know how to deal with Roller. They all thought Roller was just completely absurd. Yeah, I was going to say that. Like, everyone seemed to be pretty mad about it when yeah. it came out. Because it's similar. Like, it's the same frame as what Bayer Heel Slide was, ah, basically. That's which a we all, analogy. Which we all thought was, like, really hard to deal with and, um, you know... Catches your wits and buttons. Yeah. And early on, everyone's just about pressing buttons. They, yeah, they were that mashing. Is, that's and true. so they got called out all the time and they died for it at, you know, 90 on a bit away. Sort yeah. Of thing. It, <laughs> felt, it felt really rough. But now it's like, okay, we're, now, we, now we just know to respect that option. Yeah. Um, so that tool in particular has gotten weaker. And without it, Inkling does actually struggle to kill a fair bit. Like, the only kill confirm they have is a really, really tight grab confirm. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it's you like have a, kill throws on It's like a 5% window for up throw up air on okay. most of the cast. Yeah. Um, that's, not, that's not ideal. It's not ideal. Uh, so they're great at racking up damage really quickly, but, like, when other characters are killing more efficiently... <laughs> Like that, it's not really that worth it. Still completely ridiculous in neutral. Really strong character, it's really strong combo potential, but like. I'm gonna adjust some cameras, I'll be back. You're right. But yeah, I think in general they're just uh, the potential characters. Like, probably the top two potential characters. Ugh. But anyway, we see a first game going to Musket. Even when Kaiser was able to pull a lead, he just wasn't able to continue racking up the damage as effectively as he needed to. Didn't quite catch the stage there, but I would sort of expect him to maybe want like a battlefield? Oh, he's actually going for less space, okay. Sort of an interesting pick. So Kaze is obviously confident in his boxing and when he is in, if he's gone with this one. And that is a quick 35 for down air jab. Holy moly. <laughs> I just took a look at the screen, I'm like, oh, 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 oh that's so gross. Oh, that's so gross. much damage. Like that's dirty. Inkling jab, that is a dirty turtle. <laughs> <laughs> look at him, he's so shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a toy. Like, oh, I love this. Oh, it's so funny, uh, they stay inked. 
in between. Oh yeah, well... That's so good. It, it would be a little unfair if they were the one character that got to get rid of the ink immediately, because like, yeah. being inked is so detrimental. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. Wait, I couldn't actually... I actually couldn't tell that the musket wasn't inked because of the lighting on this stage and, and like the, the color, color is the chosen. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, yeah, I actually thought nice. he was still inked this whole time for a bit. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, nah. Um, all the textures go out the window as well. It's sort of the yeah, easier I'm, way to I'm tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Actually, I like the way that Musket is actually playing this, though. He's, he's playing, playing at a really good distance. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say like, that. Like, he's just really content to use these vines. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he wants to kill now. He also doesn't want to get... Up like, smash? Yeah, yeah, there it is. That was such yeah. a quick response too, so yeah. really great job from Musket. Yep, he's, he respected it, he stayed at the right distance to sort of avoid that kind of option, and at that point you can just react to it. Yeah. If, you have, if you're not already whiffing a button, you just react, you kill him for it. And that's sort of... As I was sort of saying, yeah, that's where people feel like Inkling has dropped off, is like, they know not what not to be too afraid of. Yeah, I think that's kind of, like... I think it's gonna like be the detriment to any early character that has like really strong options. Yeah, like, for sure. I don't know. Yeah, old well, Musky and Ultimate. You seen this boy play Ultimate? He's he's a fiend. Oh really? He's like definitely he's picking it as the PM light for him. <laughs> hey, he's taking the time to install a mod pack for it to get a better training mode. He's well taking it at least that seriously. Um, not gonna kill yet. Not yet. Musk is but playing really well. He's playing this whole stock is Charizard, oh, which yes. is really quite impressive. Like, that was a good one. Because Charizard, you really have to do well to keep them at bay and just sort of keep them in the corner. He's, yeah. That's basically his one strength is his ability to keep people in the corner. You know, I think this is actually Musk's um, character. I think he should probably settle on this one for a while because, like, I don't know. Uh, as for crossover, I think that between Project M and this, it's probably the most, like, I don't know, I don't think the Pokemon are super different outside of, like, you know, obvious mechanic differences. And Bubble like, and Solar yeah, Beam. Well, like, <laughs> like, those little things are just, like, yeah. PM gimmicks, in my opinion. They don't yeah, actually sure. add much. They don't actually, like, change how you play the character. No, not at all. Like, Bubble is just a dumb... <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's, just, it's just dumb. It's just stupid. It's just, like, yeah. But, yeah, as far as, um... The utility each of them moves have is yeah, sort of yeah. similar. Like, it's got like the combo game is pretty like analogous and like what yeah. you want to be doing. Like, is, like Squirtle and Ivy both have great combos out of grabs or not grabs. Yeah. Like Charles that kind of works very similarly actually. Donut with the 21 month tier one subscription. Thank you for subscribing during September. Please subscribe for some hot emotes. We got a Bailey one now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, he's ready to kill. Ah, he's jumping. Ooh, Ooh, not, not gonna yet. Be it. Not gonna do it yet. Uh, good pressure on the ledge, trying to sort of clear the space. Oh, good forward tilt. Yeah, but really that's strong trying to spacing, do it. really strong timing. Good showing to Musket. Yeah, no, he um, he played that extremely well. I'm actually really impressed. Great job. Like, I don't know how long he's actually been playing PT because literally last week he entered with Greninja. Right. But, um, but yeah, I mean, maybe, yeah, it is the crossover and understanding his general game plan that yeah, he had a pretty good works like, the same way, but he played it really well. Yeah, he had a solid game plan. I think that's pretty handy in this game. It's like, because there's not too much uh, crazy micro situations that, you, that can happen, you can really just think about the main options that you got and you yeah, can really, like, worry about. Uh, until you hit... The top end, that yeah, top sort yeah. of sixth level of the tournament. You're uh, you have to play you, a different game. Yeah, at that point. Yeah, exactly.